Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another how-to build video where I show you to build cool stuff inside of Minecraft. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys some awesome ways you can use a shulker boxes inside of Minecraft. Now, just a heads up, guys. Remember, this is an endgame item, so some of these you might not want to use uh, inside your survival world. But they're all survival worthy. You can easily do them in survival. You know, we got a couple of redstone things in here because obviously we're on my channel. So we're going to have a couple of redstone things. So we're going to be moving from the purple section over to the red section. And you can see I'm going crazy with these concrete blocks because they're just so awesome looking. They are so smooth and beautiful looking. So the first one, you can kind of see what I was doing here because you can hear it. And you can kind of see through that middle chest right there. But normally with a shulker, inside of the shulker, of course, is the shulker himself, that little dude. And of course, once we kill him, we get his shells to make the shulker boxes and we will no longer longer have and why aren't you coming out hello you in there there he is <laughs> so obviously when he dies we get his shells and i get i didn't get any shells that kind of stinks but then we get the choker box and he is no longer inside of it because he is well dead sorry sorry mr choker but we can use his carcass i mean uh sh <laughs> choker box and put in other mobs so uh, right inside this one you can kind of see what i did there because you can see all the little uh, ender things going around but when we open up this one as you can see there's an enderman inside of this choker box so we can place mobs inside of them very easily actually you do have to name tag them though because uh i actually forgot to name tag them and they both despawn these guys so if you are using a mob that can hurt you just make sure you do name tag them but inside this one we have a little creeper and i should have actually color coded i should have made that one black and that one green for the creeper and then this one i i could have made the villager go down more you can actually trade with the villager which is kind of funny so if you want to put like the items inside the box that you want to trade with the villager and then trade with them like you can but the reason why i left it like this i don't know if it only does it on console because you can do this easily on pc as well but watch this <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it does that but that's the reason why i left it like that just because he does that and i find that hilarious i don't i don't know i find that very funny now for the next one another very simple one is you can actually put shulker boxes on top of your beacons and it won't get rid of the beacon and that does not happen a lot with most of the blocks you know especially you know if you want a colored block on top of it now you can absolutely do that because you can change up all the colors of your shulker i mean look at all these different colors you could possibly do with these uh did i, I even left it in here yet? but as you can see if i place my shulker box on top of it it does not get rid of your beacon i mean you can even place a slab on top of this thing and it will get rid of it so i mean that's a lot that says a lot right there they're both transparent blocks apparently but this one as you see gets rid of the beacon and the shulker box will not get rid of the beacon then if you really want to you can go ahead and place some stained glass turn it red and then place in your colored uh shulker box on top of it so now you can hide it up with color and i find that pretty sweet to do that so let's go ahead and get rid of that just a very little easy thing Next up is like the main thing you could possibly, this is the main reason you are using these shulker boxes. You can use them as backpacks. If you didn't know, hopefully you did know, but you could place items inside of your shulker. I, that's another thing. Obviously you can't put a shulker box inside of another shulker box because then you could just literally walk around your world with everything, everything in your house. You can just have everything inside because you could put shulker box inside a shulker box inside. It would be insane. But as you see, if I place all my items inside my shulker box and then I break it, I can actually pick it up. And then as you can see, all my items are still inside of it. So you can use it as a backpack. So this right here is just a very simple backpack unloader. Now, if you want to, well, let me do it really quickly. And items move very fast through shulker boxes. They go through shulker boxes super fast. So when I place it right here, boop, as you can see, all the items are already gone. They went right through it super fast back here to this chest. Now, if you want to, I'll have a link in the description below for an auto sorting system on my channel. And you can also, if you want to put like make you make a shulker box, have only your ore in it. Like put in your gold and your diamond and uh, uh, just things you need to smelt gold iron things like that you can actually hook it up to my industrial furnace as well so i'll have a link to that video in the description below but it's just a very easy backpack unloader when you come home place it down all your items will funnel right through pick it up and then go back out and go on your way and do some more adventuring next up we have a very simple parkour thing because if you did not know when you stand on top of a choker box it actually lifts you up the size of a slab so it goes up about a half a block so as you see normally we can't jump over this right here but if we go on our shulker box open it up we can easily clear this gap so maybe you want to have a way to get in your house but you don't want mobs to get you and it's just a very simple way of doing things you know just boop boop and then jump on into your house and you'll be absolutely safe now here's a few more parkour things I'm, I'm putting these all together kind of so if you want to you can have like a vertical one where you put your shulker boxes on their sides and then keep going up so you know jump open it up jump open it up. and don't stink like me though <laughs> jump open it up jump open it up so that you know if you're if you're a game designer uh, well i should say a map designer and you're making like a whole parkour section and people love doing their parkour this can be difficult you know this can be really tedious you have to get it like perfectly so no i don't want to place in a shulker box so stop placing in <laughs> you know i'm gonna try one more time 
I, I did this so easy when I wasn't on. There we go. <laughs> did this so easily when I wasn't on making the video. But when I'm making the video, of course, it has to mess up. But, you know, there's a vertical one. And then if you want to do a horizontal one, I thought this one would be really cool. You know, I have a big lava room. And the only way across is opening of shulker box. And you make it super long. It would be so tedious. Because if you even mess up one time, you'll fall in the lava and die. And I, I hope I can get this. I, I Like I said, I was doing it fine when I wasn't making the video. But I just keep jump, jump 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 like that and you can make it like super long make it really tedious for people make maybe going up oh man that would be difficult have it like going up and up and up like a staircase i can <laughs> i can only imagine what some people would do with that kind of video but you know just very simple parkour things now we're gonna get into a little bit of a i guess not glitchy but you can actually phase through them when they're vertically facing downwards towards you so like if i come in here like say this is your doorway to get in your house you don't want zombies getting in there or anything uh, little zombies obviously would probably be able to get in there but all you have to do is come here hold forward you know just hold forward like you're walking forward open up the shulker box get out of it and as you see i walked right through it obviously the only problem is you're gonna have to have two of them for this one because you can't go back out the other way but it's very simple you know just like i said just hold forward open it up keep walking forward and you go right through that shulker box that doesn't really need a tutorial and now for the same thing you can actually use a slime block cannon. and this is another cool thing with shulker cases because we always had to like use obsidian <laughs> and furnaces and things like that but we can now use colored blocks with our slime blocks because they do not attach to the slime block look at that they do not attach the slime blocks so now we can use colored blocks around our slime blocks and that is absolutely awesome so you know come here we're going to be doing the same thing we're going to pretty much hit the button open the shulker box and we're going to go right through it and get launched right above it so you know hit the button look in our shulker box boop and we get popped right above it just a very little simple slime block cannon but you can go right through the block itself once you open it up. So boop, boop, and go right through it. And then go on your way. Have whatever you want up here and, you know, just jump down when you need to jump down. Very, very simple to build. Now we're going to be looking at some really cool things because they can actually move certain things. You know, they, you can move armor stands. They can move mine carts. And that's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using the moving mine cart method for these two right here. They're very, it's really cool. It's really cool. So we're going to come right over here to the shulker box. And we're going to stand right here on this block open up our shulker box and then it'll open up the floor dropping us down into like a little secret base super super cool guys and then we flip down this lever when we leave and then flip up the lever and then close it back up so it's very simple we're just pushing a minecart on the other side to open up so hit it and you see it'll open up and then it will close super easy to build so open up and then it will close so let's go ahead and look at the redstone real quick for this one there it is that's it it's just pushing it off that minecart i mean it's pushing it off that rail right there onto this rail hitting the detector rail which will open up the door on that side and then it's just going back up and closing very very easy to build uh let's go on this side and this is pretty much the same exact method except now we're using it as an on and off button so you know right now our doors close so when we open up this side and push it to this side i should have actually changed the colors around it probably would look a little better if the green was there and the red was there but uh for this build, but here's our door so now when we open up this shulker box it'll push it over to the green side which now the lights on the green side and the door is opened up and we just come in and then when the lights on that side over there bloop, it will close up the door very simple just on and off buttons using your shulker box and we're pretty much doing the same method we have two detector rails next to each other and all it's doing is just pushing the minecart onto this one and that's really cool because i don't think anything else could do this not even pistons i don't think can push a minecart off of one rail onto another rail because look at that it's just two detector rails right off each other so it's actually pushing the minecart completely off of this rail that's facing the opposite direction onto the other one so you see when i open it up it just pushes it right over and i don't think anything else can do this uh, there's a lot of things you could possibly do with this i know i went with a little bit of an easy design right here for something but there's just that's just cool and then last but not least i've actually seen this on a few other people's channels i'm not the biggest fan of this and it's uh, a shulker box like inventory uh, i guess a chest thing <laughs> The reason why I don't like it too much because it's too randomized. I'm sure I can make one that's not randomized, but this one's just a very, very simple one. You know, I kept all the redstone right above it. Look at that. There's nothing back here. The button's right above it. You just click the button. Boop, goes in there, and then pops out a new one. Boop, goes like that, and pops out a new one. The only reason I don't like it that much is because I said it's randomized. You know, I, if I press this button, I can get that blue one again. If I go like that, I can get the blue one again. Let's see if I get another one super early. So orange red actually it's doing pretty pretty well right now <laughs> okay you're kind of there there it goes the orange one there's nine of them in there there's nine of them in there so like i said it's completely random it's not the coolest thing it is pretty cool 
it's just not the best thing in the world so all right guys so there is everything there should have been timestamps with every single one of them so when you were going through the video if you went to whatever blah, blah blah if you watch the whole thing that's absolutely fine too but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the first one and that is obviously going to be the uh choker mobs the choker mobs <laughs> the villager that flies into the air so let's get started on these things all right guys so the first one's going to be uh the choker mob box thingy now you are going to need a name tag for this you are gonna to have to name tag uh ones that can be spawned the reason why i say that is because they will despawn <laughs> i was actually making the video forgot to name tag them and they disappear i was like hey look at this and i opened up the box and there was nothing in there i was like oh well i guess i gotta redo the video because i didn't name tag them so make sure you name tag anything if you're using villagers you don't have to name tag them obviously i don't think you can can you name tag them anymore i'm not even sure if you can name tag them anymore but it's very very simple so i'm gonna be doing an enderman and a creeper i'm gonna be doing three high and two high mobs you can use whatever mob you want i wouldn't use a one high mob because you will not be able to see it but the i'm using the reason why i'm doing an enderman too is just because he's a three high mob and that's going to be a little bit different so let's go ahead and do the creeper one first so all you have to do is just place down a shulker box i'm actually going to make it the color of it this time then we're going to go right underneath the shulker box like that and then we're going to come out with some powered rails so we're going to put a powered rail oh you know come out one more two sorry like that and we're going to come out like that with some powered rails send power to it then we're just going to place down our creeper somewhere on the rails and then go bloop and push them in obviously it's going to be a lot harder on survival so you know just try to make something to get a creeper onto a rail and then push him right over because once he's in there he will not see you I'm, I'm letting you know now on survival this is a block so he will not see you he will not blow up so you don't have to worry about that and then obviously we just got to name tag him did i name tag you i don't think i name tagged him actually i forgot to name tag him so uh, can I, can I, think I thought I could name tag you from here. There we go. Yeah, you can name tag them from there. There you see, it says box. So just make sure you name tag them or they will despawn. And you don't want that, you know, you don't want to trap this, get this creeper in here, trap them and everything, and then have them despawn. So bloop, let's place that box back there. Place them back over here. And there we go. And there we go. You don't even have to put them near a wall. You know, you can have them right in the middle of a room. So <laughs> there is your creeper shulker box, little guy. Really cool looking when you open it up and you see a creeper inside your shulker box. Now, the Enderman is going to be a little bit different. We're going to have to bring it down one extra block because he is a three high mob. So we're going to place in our block first. Well, our, shul our shulker box. And then we're going to dig down two underneath it. And then this one actually is easy to get the rail right in there. All you have to do is just go like that. So just bring your rails up like that, like that, and like that. Send power to it. Just make sure it goes to underneath it. See, I can fit right underneath it. And all you have to do is just place down your Enderman somewhere. This guy is going to be hard to get because uh, I think they don't like the daytime very much. <laughs> but I'm on creative, so he shouldn't mind the daytime today. So let's go. Loop. There we go. Get him inside there. Then all we have to do is just name tag him up so he doesn't despawn. There we go. And then get rid of all of this. Boop, boop, boop. And there you guys have it. There's a nice little enderman shulker box really cool i really love these things and then the villager is the same thing but the villager is just weird because he does this <laughs> next up we have our backpack unloader very easy to build and like i said i'll have a link in the description below to an auto sorting system or the auto furnace system so if you want to come home chuck this thing down it goes right into all your chests or if you want to have an ore one where you specifically only put ore inside of it and then it goes right into your furnace system you can do that as well, but you're gonna have to figure out how to link up the furnace system and all that. I, I know how to do it, but <laughs> I know some of you might not. But I wanna show you how fast this thing goes. Like, look at this, there's four stacks of dirt in here. Watch how fast this thing unloads. So, boop, place it in and look at that. Just look how fast this thing unloads. It's crazy how fast it does it. So basically, you know, you just put your backpack down, let it unload all the items, you know, go do what you have to do inside your house, come back, pick up your backpack, and then go back out there adventuring and doing what you have to do it's super easy to build this one and like i made it so you could put it right in the middle of the room you know you stick this thing right in the middle of the room you don't have to put it up against the wall or anything like that just in case you wanted to have it like that so to simply all we have to do is just dig down two blocks and then we're going to place in our hoppers i'm going to make mine going that way so i'm going to place my hopper off that back block right there and then i'm going to come out one more with another hopper just for I, I don't know we're just gonna go like that and then you know what? let me go out one more and then we're gonna put a wall right there just to show you know you can have this thing in the middle of a room next up just place a block off the first hopper you placed in place in a rail place in a minecart with a hopper break the block and let your minecart with a hopper fall down in the place next up all we have to do is just hide it up so you know i'm gonna go ahead and go into concrete and i'm gonna take out a purple block and now all we need is a piston and some sort of power source so let's take out a block redstone and our piston let's place our block one over from it place our piston facing towards it like that there we go send power to it and now it's completely hidden now the items will funnel right through our shulker so if i take out my 64 dirt right here and place it in like that and you can see all of our items are funneling in down to this hopper right here and then of course you know all you need is some sort of chest system to pick it up and like i said there will be an auto sorting system in the description below in case you want to hook it up to your auto sorting system but now let's go ahead and hide all of this up like that 
but as you can see it's right in the middle of the room so you can place this thing wherever you truly want to place it pick up your backpack and then leave the house and go on your way next up is going to be that slime block launcher where you just come in here click the button look inside our box and we'll go right through it on to the other side very simple the cool thing about this like i said in the beginning is now we can put colored blocks around our slime blocks no longer do we need obsidian around it it will just look a lot better so this one's another very easy one to build all you have to do is just dig down two blocks place in a sticky piston with a slime block on top of it now we can go ahead and change up the colors around here like i said you can make it now color block so if i want to i can go ahead and put orange around it now this one will need an obsidian block right here at the backhand side if you truly don't want to use the obsidian block all you have to do is just move the redstone around a little bit to make it work out so i'm just going to go ahead and do the obsidian one first and then we can switch it around at the end then all we have to do is just come up another row of blocks that can't move like that with our shulker boxes because I want to keep it all nice and colorful. And then we're going to place our button right off the backhand side right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch up the color really quick. Let's go ahead and just use purple. We're going to come out one block to the side, place in a repeater coming out from where that button is and set it to four ticks. Then we're going to place a piece of redstone right in front of it down one block like that with a block right in front of it. So when we click the button, the repeater will come on and the power down here will come on. Then we're going to dig right underneath this block right here. And then going into that obsidian block that we placed down there, we're going to place another repeater and set it to four ticks. A and then last but not least, we're going to come right underneath our obsidian block by breaking down right here and placing a piece of redstone right underneath the block itself like that. And that's going to be all of the redstone. So when I click the button, it should pop up so bloop, and then it goes back down. Next up, all we have to do is just place in our shulker box upside down. So put a block right above the button, one up and then place a shulker box facing downwards. And there you have it, that's the entire thing. So when we come in, click the button, go inside the shulker box, boop, we go right above it, and then we can go on and do what we have to do. And like I said, if you want to get rid of that obsidian block right down here, if you truly need to get rid of this obsidian block, all you have to do is just move the redstone around a little bit. So let's go ahead and just change that with a shulker box. And now, you know, let's just bring it down like this. Just bring the redstone down like that, boop, boop, boop. Remove that and place another repeater down here on four ticks of light. And there we go, we got rid of the obsidian block. Super easy to get rid of it, so you now come over here. Click it, go inside of it, boop, go right through it, and then go on our way. Next up, we are going to be doing the shulker boxes and the minecarts. And this is probably the most interesting thing with the shulker boxes, in my opinion, right now. I feel like I could do a lot more with this the, the more time I have to use it. But it's just such a, an interesting idea of using redstone with these shulker boxes. So, you know, obviously, we come right here, open it up. Our little secret passageway will open up. Then all we do is go down here, and then we're inside of our secret base. Then when we're ready to leave, just click down this lever, come up, and then go ahead and close up the lever and then go on our way very very easy build everything here is so easy to build it's so crazy how many different things you can use these shulker boxes with and how easy they are to build so we're going to take out some rails we're going to need some detector rails normal rails and power rails some power sources for it. we're going to take out let's just take out all this redstone stuff right here and of course our shulker box so first of all you have to do is just find a wall obviously you're going to need a wall so let's pretend this is our wall right here and we're going to be putting our shulker box here so let's go ahead and place a block on this side come here break the middle block and then place in your shulker box because we have to have it going inwards you know we need it to open up towards the in uh, towards the backhand side of the wall <laughs> we need it to open up towards the backhand side of the wall like that now we're going to go ahead and do some redstone so we want this block right here in front of it to open up so we're going to go ahead and break these blocks right here one two and three on the other side like that place a sticky piston right here and you know i, I like to place in a staircase upside down backwards this is just so you don't take any damage uh, you can take damage from a full block. That's why I like to do it. So I'm going to go like this and then I'm just going to place in my staircase like that backwards, upside down. See how it's backwards and upside down. This is just so when it opens up and closes, we take absolutely no damage from it. Now we're going to come over here to the backhand side. Let's go ahead and switch out some colors right here. Uh, I, I'm loving these concrete blocks. I'm absolutely loving using these things. They're just so vibrant in colors. And they're also just so flush looking. Look, look at that. Look, oh, they're just so beautiful looking. <laughs> I'm loving these blocks. So actually what we're going to do right here is place three blocks in like this. And then we're going to place in three rails. One, two, three, like that. Make sure you place in three rails just like that. Then we're going to place in a powered rail right here. And then to place in a detector rail next to it. And as you can see, it will go up into the other rail. And then we're going to place in yet again another powered rail on this side with a block coming out. It kind of makes like a little T shape. See, it kind of looks like a little T. And then what we're going to do is place in a redstone torch over here because we need this to be powered up. Next up, we can go ahead and break these two rails and pick them up. We no longer need them. We just need it like that. And then we're just going to take our minecart, which I did not take out. And we're going to place a minecart right off of this normal rail. So now when we open up our shulker box, boop, it'll push it off. And then it'll come right back up. Boop, pushes it off and then comes right back up. And that's how everything is working. Now we're going to dig this out a little bit so we can see everything. So all you have to do is dig down and think about three for this one is the most you you have to dig down so that's one two and what we're going to do is just bring the power from that 
over to this piston. I know it looks backwards. It's just pistons are messed up on console right now. So what we're going to do is dig out these two blocks right here. And then right underneath here where the detector rail is, place a piece of redstone. And then we're going to dig down one more block right here. Place another piece of redstone. Break this block. And then place in a redstone torch. And that will make it open and close. So now when we open it like that, you'll see it opens. And then it closes. It opens. And then it closes. Perfect. That's how everything's working. Now we're going to come right down here. And we're going to add in our lever so we can open and close it from the inside. So we're going to stick out a little bit so we can see everything. Let's go like that. Boop, boop, boop. See where the redstone torch is? We're going to break this block. Place a piece of redstone right on the block next to the redstone torch. And then just place your lever right here. So we'll just place our lever right here. Now when I flip it down, it opens it up. And it closes it. Opens it. Closes it. So now all we have to do is just take out some ladders. And then place some ladders going up and down right here into our secret base. You know, you can make it as big as you want. But that's it, guys. You are completely done. So let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit so we don't have to see all this stuff inside of here. So boop, boop. And then flip up the lever like that. There we go. And that's everything. So we come in here. Boop. Open it up. It'll open up. Let us into our secret base. And it is super duper dark down. Here we go. <laughs> flip this down. Leave our base. And then just flip it up. And then go on our way. Next up, we have our on and off button. I really don't need to tell you what you can do with this thing. I mean, it, it's an on and off button. It pretty much says what it says. <laughs> as long as it could turn something on and turn something off, you could pretty much use this thing with anything. I just have it hooked up to a door right there. But let's go ahead and build this thing another very easy one. We're pretty much going to be doing the same method we did over there. Just a little bit different. You know, we're gonna let's just place it three blocks. All you need is at least two detector rails for this or one. You, you only really need one detector rail. But if you want your on off button to do something as well, then two detector rails. I'm just going to do two. So we're going to go like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to break these two on this side and these two on this side just like that. And then on this side, we're going to put in, I would say, actually green on that side. But whatever. Whatever. It's just an on off button. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and place in a shulker box facing inwards like that. There we go. So now when we open it up, it goes onto the inside. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. Bloop, bloop. Place in another one on this side. A different color if you want to. You don't have to. And that's it. That's how everything works. So, you know, boop goes to that side boop goes to that side so if you want this side to do something it can do something if you want this side to do something obviously it will do something and then if you want to you can even add in some lamps so you know which side is on and which side is off so you always do just place your lamps right next to your detector rail so one two like that same thing on this side one two like that perfect so now we go boop we'll switch it to the other rail boop and it'll switch it to the other rail perfect and then if you want to i just hooked mine up to a door how did i actually i don't really remember how i did this <laughs> i kept it really close to each other because i didn't want the build to be too huge but let's go ahead and try to uh sum this up what i did here i'm pretty sure i just had a block here with our redstone torch here block on top of the redstone torch redstone here and then i think i just brought the power from underneath the detector rail like that over to it yeah that's all i did okay so that's all i did and then all you have to do is just take it you know three sticky pistons face it inwards one two three and there's our door so you know just place our blocks so right now it's opened up and then when we want to close it you know boop the door closes boop the door opens up and you'll let's go ahead and just put a little frame around it as well just to make it look nice so boop and boop so there is the frame of our door so <laughs> uh close it and then of course open up and like i said you can hook this thing to anything it's an on and off button guys on and off so i mean you can hook this thing to just about anything and last but not least is going to be uh, that shulker box storage system i'm not too keen on this one because it's too random uh, I'm sure I could make one that works absolutely perfectly. You know, you get the next shulker box, next shulker box, next shulker box. It would be a lot bigger, and I don't want to make this video 10 times longer. <laughs> so this thing is super duper easy to build. All you need to do is just place in a piston to the side. And then we're going to take out a dispenser. Make sure it's a dispenser, not a dropper. And face your dispenser upwards like that. Next up, take out a hopper. Place your hopper going into the side of that dispenser like so. Place a block right above your piston with a button. And now we're going to do a little bit of digging. So now I want you to dig down at least three blocks. So one, two, and tres like that. There we go. So there is all three blocks. Then we're going to come right underneath this piston. Place a sticky piston facing downwards with a redstone block in front of it. And then we're going to have to dig down a fourth block for this one. So now we're going to go ahead and place a piece of redstone down right here. So now when I click the button, it'll go all the way down, activating that redstone right there next up we're going to place a block next to our redstone so take out a block place it next to the redstone with a redstone torch on top of it and then a block on top of the redstone torch like so so now when we click it boop, and then it'll dispense boop, and then it will dispense so let's go ahead and throw in some shulker boxes in here so you know one two three four five six, i don't want two colors 
Uh, I want all different colors. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and place them all inside of here. It's very random. I don't I don't like that it's random, but it does work. So, boop. And there we go. Boop. Boop. Super duper easy to build. You know, one wide, nothing crazy going on here. And there is the storage system. But there you guys have, there's all the shulker box designs. Hopefully you learned something new today. You're going to use some of these designs, or maybe you just like watching my videos and seeing the stupid things, crazy things I come up with. <laughs> and like always guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe, stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys, peace.